The U.S. Supreme Court on Monday unveiled its first formal ethics code. That comes after months of outside pressure. Following revelations of luxury trips, elbow rubbing with wealthy benefactors, and other questions surrounding Supreme Court members, in particular conservative Justice Clarence Thomas. Thomas was the subject of media reports this year around failures to disclose gifts of luxury travel from a wealthy GOP donor. The new nine-page code states justices should not let outside relationships influence their official conduct or judgment and spells out restrictions on their participation in fundraising, as well as reiterating limits on the accepting of gifts. It also states that justices should not, quote, to any substantial degree, use judicial resources or staff for non-official activities. Unlike other federal judiciary members, the Supreme Court's nine life-tenured justices have long acted with no binding ethics code. A Supreme Court statement said the decision to issue a code aimed to, quote, dispel this misunderstanding held by some, the justices on the top court do not see themselves as bound by ethics rules. Senate Democrats, including Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, who have pushed to legislate an ethics code for the nation's top judicial body, hailed the announcement as a step in the right direction, but said it does not go far enough. They call the lack of any enforcement mechanism a, quote, glaring omission, which leaves the door open for justices to simply ignore the new code.